Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so this video was uh, shared with me by Sister Stella. Thank you for sharing this. Um, it's also been showing up in my feed. A lot of uh, people are posting this and uh, sharing it as well uh, because there's some delusion that's going on that's tripping a lot of folk out, right? Now, of course, you see the image on the screen. It kind of gives you an idea of what this is about. But that uh, AI-generated image does in no way just does in no way uh, describe, should I say, uh, what I am about to show you guys. Uh, the delusion is so, so very realistic that many would be fooled if they didn't see with their own eyes uh, the pulling back of the layers. Anyway, take a look at this video. And of course, I will be right back. I'm gonna keep reminding y'all, stop believing everything y'all see, especially on social media. Y'all see this? I'm shocked. Like, how is that not his head? Look how realistic this looks. I'm not gonna lie. They had me all the way fooled. Look at that. That's not even him. Stop believing everything y'all see. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind for me, and I'm just going to be honest right here, um, we better be careful with all these different chemicals and things we're letting people put on us. Uh, we've seen too many reports where they're uh, putting together things that are uh, not safe for you, right? And they're putting it on your head, your body. And so that's the first thing that comes to mind. Of course, uh, the overall delusion. I, I didn't notice at first that the, the guy had locks that were hanging out from under there, and they were just kind of draping there um almost as if they were part of his garment so they went unnoticed because you went your mind went straight to the the head right my mind should i say went straight to the head and it all looked so real it looked authentic they color matched it very well so with all of that i'm, I'm thinking to myself that uh they had to use some tripped out chemicals to get that look it even looked like human flesh like a bald head y'all and they're putting this stuff on people's heads right we're getting these reports years after people have uh used some of these products for years with perming and dyeing their hair uh we're finding out now that this stuff uh, seeping down into your your um your brain and causing all kinds of um uh, cancers and ulcers uh, not ulcers but um tumors and sickness and uh ultimately death uh, they were uh, looking at uh, the the brains of uh, uh, some black women um, when they come into the morgue or, you know, um, during autopsies and things. And they were seeing uh, some very uh, tripped out looking discolorations of their brains uh, from women who have used perms and things like that for many years. And so that's a frightening um, thought <clears throat> when you consider um, the fact that these are some strong chemicals that we're willingly uh, putting on our head. Um, many of us don't even uh, research whether or not it's safe. We just assume because it's on store shelves that it is safe and it's not. And so we're starting to see more and more of our men getting hair pieces, getting these kinds of illusions. Um, we allow ourselves to be talked into, or should I say tricked into all kinds of things, right? Uh, this video right here is just a part of that. Um, I like what the um, the person who was in speaking in the video was saying. Uh, she <clears throat> she was basically talking about the things that we see on the internet. Uh, you you can't even believe what you're seeing anymore with AI generated images, um, AI generated voices that can mimic other people's voices. All kinds of things are happening, and this technology is only uh, getting more and more convincing more and more convincing. So what direction are we headed in? Well, I want to refer you back to the scripture when it says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, lest he get an advantage over you. Meaning, don't ignore his devices. Don't ignore what he is capable of. 
because there are so many delusions out here, uh, so many uh, tricks of the mind, so much manipulation going on out here. And a lot of this stuff is by design. Think about the realistic facial mask that they've created. They have some realistic facial mask that will have you thinking that a certain person uh, cre uh, committed a crime when actually it's somebody, a whole other person. I've seen some realistic facial mask of so-called black men. Um, as a matter of fact, um, there was um, a few years back, there was a white man who used one of those facial masks uh, to commit a crime so that they can pin it on a black man. That's how realistic it was. And that was a few years back. Can you imagine what they're looking like now? These realistic masks are probably looking so convincing that you got to be careful. There are some slicksters out here. Some slick folk out here who are trying their best to tarnish the image of other groups while making themselves look squeaky clean. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this stuff is getting more and more tripped out and insane. <laughs> it's getting insane. We don't know what we're looking at. I mean, I've even seen images or videos, should I say, where women go through these transformations. They'll show the before and the after, and they'll have a woman um, who looks one way um, that comes out looking like a beauty queen. And you, when you look at the before and after, you can't tell me that that isn't a strong delusion that they're putting out there. That's a major trickery because when the mask comes off, because that's what it literally is, you're putting on fake lashes, uh, you're putting on um, all of this uh, makeup just caked on, right? Then you put the, the wigs and all that kind of stuff to um, hide it all. What do you have for real? What's really there? These are the delusions I'm talking about. Not to mention so many other things that are going on. We can't afford to allow ourselves to be deceived by this stuff. With all of, all of this, with all of the biblical prophecy uh, that talks about perilous times and um, all, all of the wicked things that are going to happen in the last days, I don't want to be ignorant of anything. I don't want to ignore anything. Just think about it like this. The devil is capable of anything. If he wants you to be deceived... Trust and believe that he is capable of doing anything. Anyway, share your thoughts on this uh, particular delusion in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.